EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Martich here with your outlook for January 12th, 2023. It is Thursday, and the Thursday video forecast is proudly sponsored by North Penn Car Wash in Lansdale, Montgomery County, Pennsylvania. Keep your vehicle looking great all the time and stop wasting your money on those costly individual washes with North Penn Car Wash's Unlimited Car Wash Club. You can join at a very low price starting at just $13.95 per month, and it's the only place where weather doesn't matter. Winter can bring its fair share of snow, ice, and rain, and of course, road brine and salt to dirty your vehicle. But with North Penn Car Wash's Unlimited Car Wash Club, it's no worry at all. Just stop by as often as you like within the calendar month to get a fresh wash for the one low monthly rate. They are North Penn Car Wash, 986 Sumney Town Pike in Lansdale, Montgomery County, Pennsylvania. Proud sponsors of the Thursday video forecast. So today we have uh, some scattered showers. It might be very early in the morning in a far northeastern corner, uh, corner of Pennsylvania. So a few snow showers, especially in higher elevations, but that will go over to rain showers as temperatures warm today. We're going to be significantly milder today across the region. 44 to 56 is a spread from northwest to southeast. And I think just mainly during the day, it's just very light, spotty, intermittent showers. Not really a whole lot going on during the day. It's when we get to the evening that we're going to have an increase in that activity. Actually, late afternoon and evening, we'll have an increase in that activity. And the cold front is going to move through uh, very late overnight or very early Friday morning. So let's get over to the NAM High Res Future Simulator Radar. Starting this off here at 7 a.m., you can follow the timestamp at the upper right-hand corner of the video as they move this forward. You can still see some lingering snow showers across the higher elevations of Northeast PA. And that is going to be very quickly out of here. After that point, we just have some, again, just spotty, light, intermittent stuff. Uh, not a whole lot of rain during the day. And some areas are going to be completely dry during this stretch with maybe just a passing shower or two. And that's it. Once we get to the late afternoon and early evening, however, you see this increase in precipitation across most of the area with steadier showers, right? And then the cold front itself is going to move through overnight. It's going to take its time doing so. It's going to linger into very early Friday morning before this pulls away. But this ends as rain just the way it started. So uh, on Friday, we're expecting the temperatures, the high temperatures to be achieved earlier in the morning. 42 to 52 is the temperature spread from northwest to southeast, but that is going to be earlier in the morning. Temperatures are going to fall throughout the 40s throughout the day here on Friday. Uh, and then uh, after that point, we are high and dry. And actually, Friday itself... Aside from a stray flurry across northeast PA, will be a high and dry day too with morning clouds giving way to sun. And again, those early showers before, uh, associated with those clouds that will give way to sun late in the day. And then Saturday, Sunday, behind this system as this moves through, again, no back edge snow coming in here, right? So we're looking at uh, a partly cloudy Saturday. It's going to be seasonably cold with temperatures firmly in the 30s across the region for highs and uh, it looks like Sunday is going to be a mostly sunny day but we are going to start to moderate a little bit back into at least the lower 40s at that point. Tuesday is going to follow up with another sex I'm sorry Monday in between here we got a Monday again I'm going to skip Monday. I would love to skip Monday every week but I just can't do that unfortunately. So Monday is a partly cloudy day and uh, continue that warmer trend up to about the mid to maybe upper 40s here on uh, Monday, so a little bit milder, and then here at the end of the week, or, or the, excuse me, at the end of the period, uh, as we get into Tuesday, we have a cold front that's going to come through the region here on Tuesday, kind of falls apart as it gets here though, so there's not a lot of precipitation with it, looks like there's going to be a chance for a few showers, and mostly cloudy skies otherwise here on Tuesday, and then that might go into Tuesday evening, after that we have an in-between day on Wednesday with a mild day in the 50s, and uh, temperature, or excuse me, partly cloudy skies here for uh, for Wednesday. We'll have another system that's going to bring rain here behind this at the end of next week, which is Thursday and Friday. So again, uh, this is not a surprise. We are expecting rain systems during this entire time because it's going to be too warm for any kind of snow or wintry precipitation. And that is going to be true not only for the next seven days, but probably at least the next 10 days before we get into a pattern. It might be a little bit more conducive for thread the needle when we get between the 21st and 26th time frame. Something in there could be threading the needle just right, uh, but uh, a better chance will be happening after the 26th once we get the cooler temperatures in here that are expected to end the month of January. I'm APA Boy Meteorologist Bobby Marcher. That is your outlook for January 12th, 2023. Have a great Thursday.